Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and welcome to episode number five of the Studio One 4.5 series that I'm doing. And in this episode, we are going to look at the new methods for side chaining. And it's very cool. All you need is any plugin that has an external side chain capability on it. And uh, I know that the Studio One native compressor does that perfectly. So for our demonstration purposes, that's what we're going to use. Um, now, the original way that you did this, um, maybe it takes about four or five clicks. So let's take a look at the original way and then compare it to the new way. So let's say I want to duck the drums a little bit with some compression every time the bass is playing. So whenever the bass plays, the drums get compressed. Um, so we're going to use the compressor. So let's grab that and get it onto the drums. Just like that. Let's turn that off. And then the old way you, you would do it was you'd go to the plus on the plus button on the send for the bass. Then you go down to side chains and then you choose the drums compressor insert. And then you'd be set up and you would dial in your compression and away you go. You are now compressing the drums with the bass as the source. That's how you used to do it uh, for the last however many years. But now there's this new method, which I'm going to show you now. And I alluded to this in the first episode. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. So let's go and grab the compressor again, get it onto the drums. Now this time we've got this new button here next to the sidechain button. And uh, what you do is you now click this and it opens the sources. Now, what will appear in here is every uh, channel that is in your session. So if you have hundreds of channels, um, then all of those will appear. And so in this case, I just want to choose the base. So I'm going to tick the base. And as soon as I did that, did you notice over here, a send was created to the compressor on the drums. And I didn't have to do anything else. So again, I would just dial in the compression, uh, set the threshold, the attack and release how I want it. And if we watch carefully, we will now get gain reduction. <laughs> And it's as easy as that. So now the, the bass is popping through nicely and the drums are being a little bit pushed back uh, whenever the bass is playing. And there we go. And it took me, what, two clicks? One to get the compressor in and one to choose the source. And that was it, really. So it's a lot faster. It's a lot neater. It's um, going to save everybody a lot of time, especially folks that do side chaining in uh, EDM music and you use a lot of side chains. This is going to be... Uh, massive for you guys. So enjoy it. Go try it out and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.